Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Today we're going to talk about density for your phone. Uh, another word for it is device pixel ratio. So in order to understand this concept, you need to have understood the three concepts that I have listed here under prerequisite knowledge. The first idea is a pixel. You have to know what a pixel is and you also have to know what uh, resolution is for your screen and you also have to understand what PPI is. So if you don't know any of these concepts have a look at my previous tutorials on these and hopefully you'll understand them and then you can come back and have a look at this tutorial on density and all of these concepts will lead you to understand a little bit better about uh, designing websites for mobile phones. Okay, so I have drawn a picture of two phones here, an iPhone 3G and iPhone 4, and um, so the rectangle represents the uh, dimensions of the display of the monitor, so iPhone 3G has a resolution of 320 by 480 whereas an iPhone 4 has a resolution of 640 by um, 960 okay so if I draw, let's say, a car using the entire width of the iPhone 3G, okay, let's say I draw a car, and I'm just going to draw it here, a really funny car. Okay, so what happens when you view it on iPhone 4 using the default settings, right, because the car is 320 pixels wide, it's only going to be half um, the screen width on the iPhone 4. So it's going to look a bit like this. And the width is going to be smaller as well, since uh, 960 is twice the size of 480 so the width is going to be half as well so it'll look something like this All right so very badly drawn but you get the idea so that's what happens when you do, when you draw um, pictures when people view it in iPhone 4 using default settings because the screen width is 640 pixels, it's going to look a lot smaller than it looks on an iPhone 3G. Okay, so how does this relate to the term density? Well, density you can think of as how close the pixels are together. How, to, how close together the pixels are. All right. Generally, when people talk about density, it's how close together some things are. So in this case, we're talking about the pixels. So when the density, uh, when the screen width is 320 pixels, all right, both of these screens are exactly the same size. So across the diagonal, it's 3.5 inches. Uh, and it's the same with the iPhone 4, 3.5 inch. So, obviously for the iPhone 4, the pixels are a lot closer together so that you can fit 640 pixels uh, using the same screen. So therefore, if we give iPhone 3G a density value, density value, of 1 for the iPhone 3G then the iPhone 4 will have a density value of 2 
All right, iPhone 4 will have a density value of 2 because the pixels are twice as close together. Okay, so bringing this concept back to relate it to DPIs, okay, uh, if you guys remember, DPI is another word for PPI, which is pixels per inch. Right now, iPhone uh, 3G, which is this device here, has a DPI of 163. Okay, so what happens is um, if a phone has a DPI value of around 160, then the density value. The density value we say is 1. Okay, 160 dpi equals the density value of 1. Now, iPhone 4 has a density value of 326, so therefore, around the density value of 320, sorry, around the dpi of 320, we give it a density of 2. So, because iPhone 4 has a density of 2, it has around 320 dpi. And um, if you have 120 dpi, around 120, it has a density of 0 0.75. And around 100, sorry, around 240, it has a density of uh, 1.5. Okay, so that's how the density value relates to DPIs. Okay, I hope this tutorial gives you a better understanding of what density is. See you guys next time.